Welcome back to developments in Washington on the fight over immigration. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez now says it's time to get rid of Homeland Security. Let's bring in Sheriff Bill Wayborn. He's the sheriff of Tarrant County, Texas. Sheriff, what do you think of this uh, idea from Alexandria Cortez to get rid of Homeland Security? I think she is crazy, uh, to put it simple. I, I, think, I think she was 11 years old when 9-11 happened. She doesn't understand the threat. You know, just recently, we, four ISIS members were caught in South America heading toward us. Another one was caught overseas. And, and yes, we know that ISIS is still interested in filtrator of our border. So I don't think she recognizes the threat. But more importantly, I think she is simply continuing to be a critic in the stand instead of a legislator on the field and not coming up with solutions. Sheriff, we have reports that drug cartel me uh, uh, members are seeking asylum or have s achieved asylum and in, 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 here in Texas. Uh, I know of brain surgeons who work on, you know, uh, illegals who uh, basically machete each other in the head and they're not getting, these people in the health industry are not getting paid to do these kinds of surgeries. Uh, when you hear AOC weigh in like that and you know the reality on the ground, what, besides saying she's crazy, as you just indicated, <laughs> what is your take on what's going on in Washington? Because now we have Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats saying, yes, they're going to have a new big immigration overhaul. Well, I, I'm hoping that they do come up with a good plan. And when, when I, I didn't mean to sound so harsh on Congressman Cortez, but, but she just seems to move without good information. She seems to not gather facts, just makes offhanded remarks. I'm excited that there is a plan that is being brewed. I haven't seen the plan and I don't know it, so I don't know if I disagree with it or I applaud it. Uh, I'm maybe a little of both, but, but I'm excited that somebody's trying to get a plan because prior to this, the only person I knew was Lindsey Graham. You know, to your point about not having good information, the Progressive Left Caucus attacked the Problem Solvers Caucus for backing that $4.6 billion humanitarian aid for the border. Democrat Representative Mark Pocan, he's the co-chair of the Progressive Caucus, here's what he tweeted out. Since when did the Problem Solvers Caucus become the Child Abuse Caucus? Take that on, sir. That shocked other Democrats when he tweeted that. I, you know, I think that that is shocking the way they did attack them. And again, you know, she referred to this place down there as concentration camps, but yet she was against the money that went down there to, to take care of it. And it is shocking how she is dealing with this and, and not, again, she's not working for us. She just seems to be wanting to be the critic in the stand and throw rocks at things instead of helping find solutions like these other folks are doing. So is it, what is your take on members of Congress now visiting the border? After years and years and years of knowing it's been in crisis, now they're before an election year, they're coming to the border. Your reaction to that? Well, I, I know that the recent polls finally have said that you know the majority of Americans believe that we have a crisis down here. So there's a little bit of political posturing, and they're they're starting to wake up that they better do something to that border. So that I think they're heading down there for their photo ops and to to you know, gain popularity in their district as they're saying, hey, I'm down here doing something, when in reality, they're not doing much. Sheriff, sure, thank you for joining us, and thank you for your service to our country. Come back soon. Thank you. It's good to be with you. Same here. The battle.